Alrighty. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So I'm very interested to see how this game goes. Oh, um, hang on a moment. We're missing something, aren't we? Okay, there we go. Webcam is, whoops, webcam is everywhere. Webcam is too big from uh, the game yesterday. Hey, Delige. All right, so I have absolutely no idea about this game overlay. So hopefully it won't be blocking uh, too much stuff. All right, um, let me rearrange my food. All right, so this game is um, supposedly similar to The Room, which, um, if you guys remember, is a game that I played with Spatula. We played the first one in January, and then we played the second one in July, um, because playing them in months that start with J is the best, so if there's a third one, we'll try playing it in June. Um... <laughs> But yeah, no, so, um, this game is supposed to be kind of similar, except it's, like, obviously a horror game. So, um, I guess, like, you move from room to room instead of the room just kind of appearing. Um, there is slightly other stuff as well, so, but a lot of people say it's similar to the room, so, hopefully it won't be too bad. So, um... Let me just move OBS, and that is simply so that I can keep an eye on my bitrate, because when the bitrate stopped, I stopped playing. Oh, game. There we go. That way you guys don't miss anything. Okay, ready? Let's go. Hopefully this audio is not bad. We'll see. Oh, it's, it's taking five years to load my heart. Uh, okay, it's just loading forever. That's okay. I didn't want to play the game anyways. Come here. It might have. The um the I'm playing it in windowed mode and it keeps like moving itself. Like it just does not want to even stay where I put it. And the problem is is it's it's moving it slightly to the right, which means that it's it's like slightly off of my like monitor. Like uh -huh, I can't see the I can't see that little tiny sliver part of the game. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I haven't made any progress uh, from the restart button. So far, this game is, is working. I know. Oh, here we go. Several weeks have passed since anyone has heard from my uncle. He spends far too long holed up in that strange museum of his. Tonight, I'll visit the museum to check on him. The family is getting worried. Oh man, it's gonna be too spoopy for me. Night at the museum. Adjust the gamma slider until the right square is no longer visible. Uh, okay. So, so <laughs> you gotta go all the way over here and and you gotta see the right square? I'm leaving it at that. 
Ah, I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> it's basically all the way over, like, what even is this shit? <laughs> the default setting is absolute shit. <gasps> This is like, really, what is even going on? By the way, this isn't my movement, this is game movement. It really kind of scares me. Okay, here we go. Is there a reason why I was running? Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> this is <laughs> very strange. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. I guess we're going this way. So far, this is pretty spoopy. The heck? Just oh okay. There's like absolutely like no noise. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this the game where they were like, I don't think they uh had the funding or some shit? My controller's plugged in, so it, uh, it vibrates when I die. Alright, I gotta bring this barrel over here so that I can get this barrel. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what that flashlight thing does? Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, shows a floating flashlight. I I really I don't care about that. Apply head bob. I I'm going to take that off. Thanks. I don't need the head bob. The fact that there's not really any sound really kind of Throws me for a loop. Eh. Do, do you not know how to back up? I'm very confused. Okay. Hey, shoo. Shooey shoo, papa. Okay. Uh, did that open the gate? I'm very confused.
Nope, still can't do anything with the key. So shoot, we're going to check on our uncle. He apparently runs a museum or owns a museum or something with a museum. Okay, I can't go that way. Uh, we're off to a good start. Game caters to my interests. Oh. Oh. Whoops. That was the wrong button. Also, that was strange. Also, running is very weird in this game. Like, it's just, like, super duper fast. Pew. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay. Oh, yay. It's boarded up. There's a lot of boxes everywhere. The lights are on. It's boarded up. What a strange place. Oh. Can I crouch here? Oh, yeah, I can. I've made it. First one, the crash wins. I think Moomrick would win that race, guys. Just saying. Oh, okay. We in, guys? <laughs> oh, thank god I turned on my flashlight. Oh, Jesus. Thanks. Oh, no point to this, probably. Okay. Whoops. Oh, okay. Not interacting with that. Or that. Seventeenth November, nineteen oh eight. I've got that item you were looking for. I'm going to have to ask for twice my usual fee for this one. It wasn't easy to obtain, but I know how much you wanted it. I'll be by the docks at the usual time. You know the spot. All right. Fancy. Welcome to the Underworld Little Museum of the Supernatural. You are now entering the cult. <laughs> I didn't even explore the room, I just I just went. I'm sure it's fine. Oh. Okay. Wait a minute, uh, oops. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, okay. It's in a dark room, please. <laughs> Leap of faith. Sorry, not this time. Oh god, this is creepy. This is probably fine. I guess we'll go this way. Um, hang on. Sorry guys, I have a doctor's appointment on um, Friday, and what they like to do is they have the the, the machine lady call, and um, the machine lady just tells says I'm confirming for this person at this time, and then you gotta just follow the prompt to tell the lady that you're going, and then she's like okay because if you don't talk to robot lady, then you have to actually call them and talk to them, and I don't want to do that. So. Oh, spoopy hallway, or I could go this way. Which, ironically, is the way I go anyways. Okay. Right? That's a, no, that's not the room I came in. Okay. This is very strange so far. Let's talk about that. Okay. Twenty fifth November nineteen oh eight. Dear Professor Walker, I am ready to thank you for the splendid evening last night. I'm not usually one for all this supernatural nonsense, but I must say I thoroughly enjoyed my time there. The exhibits themselves were not that's not that's not the right word, that's where not only fascinating, but gave an odd sense of macabre. I especially admired the atmosphere you created with your sound systems. The dull drones and whispering sounds were positively eerie. I very much look forward to the grand opening and will no doubt be visiting again once your museum is fully complete. Yours sincerely, Bern Spatula. Yeah. Yeah. I can apparently pick this up, and I'm not entirely sure why, to be honest, so... Alright, well, at least we have our first Puzzle. Right.
Ooh. Nope, these have to work somehow. Okay. Uh Okay. Okay. Um where are we even connecting this to here? So we could do this which would then do that. Uh do that. That wasn't bad. I guess that was bad. I don't know. I would ask um, Nosferatu. Maybe, maybe there's a reason. Maybe he knows. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. No, we didn't. I think I just walked into the thing. Okay, so that's all in place. Oh shit, I broke the game. I, uh... I uh, was holding shift and I wasn't running. There we go. Okay. I don't believe I can uh, swim. Is that a button I can push? No, it's just a light. Okay. So let's go back. Now mind you, there's there's nothing else here, there's just these. Oh, there's... So I got killed by that. Um... Huh, apparently if I let go of the mouse, he just head bobs. Okay, I guess... I have no idea. Um... I don't know, it would seem like, I guess the solution would be in this room? But then, but I, I still don't get it. You know? Can I actually like go swimming? Again, very strange. Eh, let's.
Let's go over here. Oh man, a Viking ship. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Again, it seems very strange. Um... I don't get an inventory or anything. Is there supposed to be a, a clue somewhere? Okay, apparently that's okay. <laughs> okay. Now he makes noises and freaks out, like, what? What is that? O three O three N Yeah. Take me there. No, apparently not. Was it fourteen? Nope. 
I guess it's something in the second room. Oh. Nope. Take my Viking ship. Hey, giraffe, what's up? Well, I guess it's got to be in this room, right? Because we didn't see anything, but... You know? Maybe not. I don't get up. Yeah, crap. Okay. Maybe not. I don't know. I almost just uh, want to look it up because this is so strange. I'm at least tempted to see where I should look for the hint. Okay. And this is one of those games where where I'm intrigued playing it, but I also am not gonna waste a lot of time figuring stuff out if it's, like, not obvious. What part am I supposed to be looking for? I'm assuming it's something that we couldn't see in the second room because it's blurry underwater. Oh, the walkthrough doesn't like mention it. Oh, well, that's super awkward. I didn't see anything about the game being like, what game am I playing? Oh boy. <laughs> Did I skip a part? 
I probably skipped. I kind of feel like I skipped a part or I went out of order, but the game allowed me to, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I felt I kind of had a feeling I sort of probably skipped a lot of stuff. To be fair, though, okay, I exited the room and it was the first door on the right. <laughs> But is the combin it, is it in the first part? Underwater somewhere. Uh huh. Well, I've been under two areas. Oh, this is just the area I came out of. I really don't feel like wandering underwater. Head back and go through the second room. Oops, hang on. Let me get back there. Alright, um... Is it supposed to be in here? No? That doesn't make sense. You frosting, what up? I see you hanging around. Okay, yeah, so it is in this room that I thought it was. But is it underwater? Cause ugh, I don't see shit. I even went pretty far under the water. Oh, 18 West, okay. Sorry guys, but patient. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. feel when I could have just made that up and it would have worked. Take me there. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> okay, I knew it was in that game. <laughs> I mean, that room, not the game, the room. Right, there's like nothing there. Okay. Oh, I need them at 40. Alright, that one's at 40. That one's at 40. That one's Devin's. Okay. That one's at 40. Yeah. 
That one's at 40. Oh, fuck. That one's at 40. That one's at 15. Nope. <laughs> Whoops. Subtract 30. Then this one. Reset. Okay. Um. Oh, damn it. What one adds to? That one adds two. All right. All right, you know what? I need to, um, I need to do this. So, all right, so on the left side, plus one, minus one, plus two. Minus two. This one. This one. Now. This one. Minus one. Plus one, or plus one, let's put that in there. Plus two, minus three. So, I'm minus two. Oh, I can't. Minus two. Now I need to minus one on the left, but add two on the right. Be this one, and then. Oh, oh, this this doesn't work. My method doesn't seem to work. It seems to do weird stuff. All right, well, it seems to have worked. Beautiful.
All right. I guess we're done with this. A every exhibit you get a key, I guess. That's good. Oh, shit. God damn it. I do this every time. I was... L Well, it also scares me because the, the floor moves and I'm like, what? Okay. No, 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 no. No, thank you. All right. Did it tell, did the walkthrough say how many exhibits there were? Am I going back? Did I just like go backwards completely? I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna turn on my light. Nah. To start out? Oh well, yeah, that would make... No, that would not make sense. Huh. I don't know. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a demonology. Ooh. Egypt. That really kind of <laughs> freaked me out a bit. 2nd November 1908. Dear Sir, I, Professor Rupert Walker, cordially invite you and your family to attend a private showing at my Museum of the Supernatural on 24th November. The evening will begin at 8 p.m. with refreshments in the main hall. Should you choose to attend, your family will be among the first to experience the museum's many fascinating exhibits, although some are still undergoing work at this time. Please, RSVP... <laughs> Respondez, s'il vous plaît. By no later than 15th November. I hope you are able to accept my invitation, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Yours faithfully, Professor Walker. Oh. Alright, um... Well, Atlantis sounds by name the least scary. And that one was pretty scary, so... I'm, uh, I like Egypt, but this seems bad. Also, there's a staff-only area, so. Did my headset do something? This could be awkward. Let's go, look. Eh. Oh, okay. 13th December, 1908. Dear Professor Walker, following last week's, week's health and safety inspection, I am writing to inform you of the egregious health and safety oversights I have witnessed with your museum. All of these I issues must be addressed before I can even consider 
giving you the green light to open to the public. <laughs> Firstly, the elevators to the Atlantis exhibit and to the planetarium must have railings at least three feet tall to prevent visitors from falling from the elevator whilst, while it is in motion. The same restriction applies to the openings left when the elevator is not present. Secondly, while I appreciate your dedication to authenticity, I cannot allow open flames in a public place. <laughs> it's a chick. Um... As such, all torches, bonfires, and the like must be removed or replaced. Thirdly, I ask your engineer about the safety measures implemented into the various door opening mechanisms throughout the museum and was shocked to hear that there are none. These mechanisms have to be able to stop if blocked by a person or object. The same can be said for your elevators. Finally, all museums should have clearly defined exits or staff on hand to guide people through should they get lost. I must have gotten stuck in one of your mazes for the better part of ten minutes. Even more troubling, though, is that I he have heard rumors of one of your early guest's children becoming lost in the maze for hours and were actually locked in the museum overnight. I can appreciate... I hope you can appreciate that there is just no way I can allow the museum to be open in this state. Please contact me again once these issues are fixed and we can arrange a second inspection. I look forward to giving your museum a pass next time. Yours sincerely, Anne Marshall. Oh, not allowed to go in there. Okay, well. Alright guys, demonology or Egypt? What are you thinking? I'm gonna eat one of these while I wait for your votes. We're gonna do all of them anyways, but you guys can pick. How do I... Eh. This is, does make me jump a little bit. Oh boy. This is really scary, guys. Oh, that's gonna fall and clatter and I'm gonna scream. Sure. This is a really weird ex exhibit, not gonna lie. <laughs> this is totally like, you leave it like this and um, for stream starting soon kind of thing. I have to admit, this is pretty spoopy. Okay. Uh... Oh, whoops. Oh, right here. Ooh. Yeah. 
Professor Walker's Diary, 27th November, 1908. I received a letter this morning from Baron Montagu, Montagu, sorry, that, that has left me quite baffled. No, not that the Baron actually enjoyed his time at the museum, although I must admit this also perplexes me. Rather, the Baron made mention of strange sounds that he and his wife had heard around the exhibits, and even complimented me on their inclusion. But I have no knowledge of these sounds. It's unlikely that any of the workers would have included such a thing without my consent. I must investigate. That really creeps me out. <gasps> well, that was creepy, guys. Oh, this is, this is it, um, um, Elskeda, this is, this I think is the part that they were talking about. The only problem is, is I don't know if this is the only part that they were talking about, and I am, I almost am worried. Yeah, it's, it's a maze, and, um, you have to do the maze and avoid the monster, and, also, like, the instant he sees your flashlight, like, your avoid running and shining your light. So walk slowly in the dark? Or does that mean walk and use your light? I don't know, man. I'm not prepared for this. Oh boy. Huh? What? What are you guys talking about? Is this bad? What's going on? That click? Twitch please no? What? Am I good? I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Same. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going, FYI. Oh. Oh, crap. I hate that my controller vibrates when I die. All right, guys, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> I don't know what to do other than like look at the ground, maybe. Um, I can. Oh wait, this is uh, a three sixty. 
All right, hang on, I'll be right back. Uh huh. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Little triangle equal arrows. Yeah, no, I know they do, but. I don't think the arrows are very helpful though. That was kind of sort of almost the way I pictured it. Um, Spatula, when they said of me, when, when I read the reviews and they were talking about that part, I was thinking about the invisible maze in uh, the beginner's guide and <laughs> that, that part in the bottom where you're supposed to, like, I think, put a bridge over it or something. I was just thinking that, but with boxes. And then I was just thinking of the mummy from Ethan Carter. Oh my god. Well, not mummy, whatever he is. But, oh my god. I am concerned that that guy is elsewhere in the game. But, whatever. An introductory guide to magic page 2. Safety measures. Always have the universal counterspell prepared should anything go wrong with the casting. The dark arts are very volatile. Every sigil must be drawn precisely and any outside interference from other magical signs will cause a summoning to fail, sometimes with devastating consequences. Only perform, spor spor <laughs> Only perform spells that you are confident you can handle. Performing a ritual when you are unsure of the steps involved is best bound to lead to fail. Oh, okay. This doesn't seem to work.
It looked fine. Okay. Well, hang on. All right. Oh. What? No, it doesn't. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know which one's the one that... That one's supposed to be, though. Yeah, it's very interesting. Oops. No, I think the middle part was right. I think it was this that's wrong. Okay, that one's fine. The latter one or something. Oh, I didn't get to this one yet. Eh. Derp. Oh. I had it, and then I mucked it up. Okay. Now, somehow these three are supposed to do something? I don't know. <laughs> this green one? Scramble the green one a bit? Why? I don't think so. Well, let's... That's fine. That's fine, da da da. Alright, so these two, let's look at these two. <laughs> well, half of the circle is here, so it, it makes sense in my opinion. So... I 
bet it's I bet it's because I fucked this one up, maybe. Okay. Yeah. I don't think the game would get mad at you for that. Yeah, but... I don't know. Again, this one was marked up a bit. Well, now they're not completed, and it's still not working. Oh. Fuck. That. He was right. Wow. All right. All right, never mind. Okay, but now how do I get out of here? Am I supposed to backtrack? Wait, how am I supposed to get out of here? Yeah, but the key is for the main hall room. The Atlantis room like made like a circle. Yeah, please look it up. I don't really... I need to know if I need to backtrack or not because I really don't want to go through that maze again. Boy. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah. I wrapped it. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. Well, that was a very scary one that we did. Okay. I just hope there's no scary guys in the Egypt one. There were scary guys in the... Oh, the game yesterday was fine. I need, a, I need to not be scared at least one time in my life. Fuck. I have a feeling I'm gonna be scared. Do you think you come out this way at the end? Because that's what I think. Alright. 
Oh, hey, LP. Yeah. Hold left sh Hold left shit to sprint. Sprinting makes more noise. And why am I making noise? What what is this? <laughs> why would I be making noise? Anyone? Whatever. Ooh, hello. Twentieth <sighs> November, nineteen oh eight. It is. It's finally in my hands. Bella wrote last week to inform me that she had acquired the crystal fragment I was after. Of course, knowing how much I wanted it, she saw fit to double her fee, certain that I'd pay any amount to get my hands on the artifact. This shard is unlike anything I have ever seen. It looks to have been cleanly cut from a much larger structure, but the material looks much too hard. Surely such a precise incision would be impossible? It's beautiful. Truly magnificent. Its dull glow is soothing. Hypnotic, even. Now I can proudly put it on display in time for my pre-opening party next week. <clears throat> well, I think... I... I think either with the E is like a British form or just an older form of spelling it. I think artifact is more of a modern slash American thing. I'm not sure because I'm American. That's the way I would spell it. I don't know if that means that it's American or if it's just modern. But but I know in like more older-ish setting things, they spell it like that way. So I'm assuming it's just an older spelling, but again, it it works. It just looks strange. But I never, I never get over it. Get over it? I never argue with it. Shh, what is it? Oh my god, I do this every time. Oh, okay. Well, that's creepy. Alright, so we jump up here. Oops. Alright, we don't jump up here. Jump up here. Hang up here? Okay. Game is very strange. Alright. I guess we'll just... No, oh, that's not creepy or anything. Really? I guess we're gonna take a picture of these and utilize them for later or something since I can't seem to interact with them. I can't interact with them, which makes me think I'm going to need them later. Okay.
okay. Oh wait, Shu was playing this game? I thought he was talking about clipping through Hob. I was like, yeah, you guys are playing Hob. I know, it's a thing. Uh. Okay. Again, I have, oops, absolutely no idea what I am really supposed to be doing. Oops. Fucking battery. Um. I wonder what the mechanism is for. <coughs> Move object in and out. Interesting. Um, I don't know what that movement thing was all about, you know? Okay, so I have to actually leave the room. This is the gamma, so I don't even, I like have it all the way up, so yeah, it was defaulted to the middle and I was like, this is uh, strange. Oh. Well, it's because it knew you were dicking around, so it didn't care. I have it in windowed mode because if I play it in full screen window, it plays it in a 4x3 uh, aspect ratio, which is weird because I have it set to 720x1080. So, alright. Uh... Um, well, remember, my flashlight died. I read something about, in the reviews, people were talking about the, the flashlight recharging, like the batteries recharge or something. Anyways, the tombs of many pharaohs were protected against grave robbers. The resting place of King Teos was hidden behind a secret door in his tomb, which is said to have been guarded by curses and other supernatural forces. The pharaoh, the name of the pharaoh himself was used to seal the tomb. Yeah, I picked up a couple, but some people 
I, I thought I told you in one of the reviews, someone was saying that the batteries were like, had no charge to them anyways. Um, yeah, it's covered up by BitBoss, but it's just a little um, battery icon. That's why my battery went out. Oh, do you guys not see that? There we go. Beautiful. Go put the bunny on. Put the bunny on. Oh, oh, okay. Anyways. That is very much so not important. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's okay. Okay, well... Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oops. It was his name. What was the guy's name? Tel Telos? Oops. Where, where are my symbols? Teos, thanks. So, we need this to be. And then... And then this is just whatever the fuck it ends up being. Right here, I think. Okay. The question is, is how do I... See my battery dead. Um, spatula, is there a way back? Oh, wait, wouldn't I just. Could I just, um, can I just backtrack? I assume that's what I would do, right? Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. are doing like a lot of like or some shit because I uh can't um you're like laying things down heavily sorry I'm like very distracted right now This guy makes me mad. 
this guy makes me bad. Um, Spatula, I do have a question, uh, not meaning to ruin the fun and games, but, um, how far along would you say I am? Because I'm trying to figure out where would be a good point to stop. Um, I have, cool, have to quote unquote finish the game by tomorrow night. Otherwise we, uh, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. I'm more than halfway. Okay. I'm wondering if this is a good place to stop then and uh, finish it tomorrow. This game is, is estimated two hours, so I mean, we're at an hour and a half. Yeah, I mean, tomorrow's stream might be super short. Unfortunately, guys. Um, tomorrow's stream is probably going to be what's left of this game, which in theory is not much left. However, um, I have work early tomorrow, um, which is why uh, this week's been a, this week is going to be weird um, because of my work schedule. Um, so we'll finish this tomorrow. Yeah, I know, but I I have to go to bed in like an hour and a half or something, um, and I still need to eat dinner. So. Yeah, I think we'll stop here. We'll finish it tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a short stream, unfortunately. But, um, again, I'm working 10... This week, I'm working 10-hour shifts. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm, work is taking up most of my day. And then I also have to incorporate sleeping and shit like that. And I know sleep is for the week. But... I also would like sleep now because I am not going to get any sleep Thursday night. I have to drive six hours home because I have a doctor's appointment Friday morning. So, yeah, my my week's a little a jam pack. So, yeah. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Um, yes, we can do this. Um, and we'll finish it up and then, uh, and then we'll take our m quote unquote mid month, uh, break for this game or for, for my horror bonanza. Cause again, I won't be here. I'll be home for the weekend. All right, guys. Um, so yeah, uh, have a good evening and I'll see you all next time. Bye.